West here from New Society Publishers on Gabriel Island, British Columbia, with Madhu and Kiana. Following up on the test patches we made for the earthen floor, now we had an epic fail with the floor, and I'll show you that <laughs> in a minute. First, I want to talk about our test patches and where we went wrong. Now, reading Sukita and James's book, Earthen Floors, um, they tell you in here to make test patches that are at least 18 inches in diameter so that when there's shrinkage, um, you see crack, whether or not it's going to crack. So the higher the clay content, generally speaking, the, the more cracking. So you want the highest sand content possible. We failed to do that. We made these tiny little test patches and no cracking was shown. And there was a, a general lack of integration of the clay with the sand. So what we have is a disaggregated mix here. And we did that because we mixed it by hand. Mm -hmm. Just stuck it together and stuck them down. We didn't mash the cob together with our feet or with a machine as you need to do. The result is I took this information and determined we should use a one-to-one -one native soil to sand mix um, and build part of our subfloor with it. So we did that and we put down over a cubic meter of material and I'm going to go inside and we'll show you exactly what happened because we didn't do proper testing. Okay, so here we are in the bedroom on the main floor of the house um, where we put down the one-to-one -one mix of native clay soil, which I don't actually know the clay content, except I think it's more than 25%, having done a ribbon test. So based on our erroneous samples, we put down this huge amount of flooring, and you can see what happened. We have cracking throughout the floor, and it's quite a thick floor. It's around three inches, which is probably suboptimal. There's a lot of moisture that went into this floor. And in the end, it appears to me that we have too much uh, clay, or not enough sand, and not enough fiber as well to hold it together. If you come over here, you can especially see the shrinkage away from this piece of wood right here at the door jam. This shrinkage has happened only in the last two weeks, and the floor is nowhere near being dry, so we're going to see substantially more shrinkage. Had the sand content been substantially higher and more fiber, we'd have a lot less shrinkage. And we'll take you outside again and show you our new test patches and where we're going to go from here after having um, learned the hard way by putting down an enormous amount of material. Okay, so here we are outside again where we've now got some proper sized samples, um, 30 by 30 frames, an inch and a half thick. This mix, which I, which I put down on Sunday, is a 1.5 sand to one clay and a quarter of chopped straw. And it's performing pretty well, but you can already see some cracking. There's a bit of sun on it in the morning, but not during the rest of the day. Um, but there's a bit of cracking, and you can see the crack from the shrinkage between the wood frame and the piece. So as this dries, this crack will get larger and larger. Okay, so to prevent the cracking or minimize it, um, in this mix we've gone two sand to one of the native clay soil material and a half a bucket of straw. So I've increased the fiber and increased the sand. And you're seeing less, almost no cracking. And the crack along the side of the frame is tiny. It's probably less than half, maybe a quarter of the, the 1.5 sand mix. So Definitely the higher sand mix is um, going to reduce cracking. Um, we're going to move on and look at one more sample now that we did yesterday. Okay, so this is the last uh, test batch which we put down uh, yesterday. And this is a three sand to one native clay with a half a bucket of chopped straw. So proportionally a half a straw. And it's still wet so we don't know what's going to happen. But my suspicion is we're going to get the least cracking. The concern here now is whether or not the actual mix is starting to have too much grit in it. It's going to be cr become crumbly when it dries. Um, and it's at that point when it becomes dusty and crumbly, you want to scale back the sand and you've probably found the optimal mix. So um, just to recap, um, the most important thing, and I should have listened to Sukita and James, the most important thing is a lot of testing early on in the process. Make lots and lots and lots of these panels and um, increase the sand and increase the fiber until you find the optimal mix. Um, and don't rush to put down um, 29 cubic feet of floor to find out that it has too much clay in it.